Hey everybody and welcome back. This is Dan and today we'll be doing a tech review on the Parrot Mini Drone Jumping Sumo. This is going to be a good one guys. Stay tuned. This drone is one of the most incredible land drones available today on the market. It is controlled through a Wi-Fi signal and can jump upwards of up to 80 centimeters high, just a little bit over two feet. This drone can easily clear any tabletop or any high table setting. It can jump forwards of up to 60 centimeters or around two feet. This drone can also travel at up to 4.5 miles per hour, which is incredibly fast for such a small device with such a small battery. This drone is controlled through Wi-Fi signals emitted from the drone going directly to your smartphone. It has live video streaming and recording capabilities and is also about a 20 minute runtime with just a small battery. This drone can function indoors and outdoors but is not waterproof. Next, let's talk about pricing. If you're purchasing this product in the UK, you can look to spend anywhere from about 70 pounds to about 120 pounds. Now this varies greatly depending on where you purchase it. If you buy it directly through Parrot on their website, you're gonna end up paying much more. If you try to buy this product through Amazon, chances are you're gonna be paying about 65 to 70 pounds. So I highly recommend that. If you're buying from the States, the same thing applies. If you buy, if you buy directly from Parrot, you can expect to pay about 150 to 160 US dollars or if you buy it through Amazon you can pay for about 100 US dollars. So it's highly recommended to purchase through Amazon or look around online and find a different source to purchase from. But just make sure that you are in fact buying the Parrot Mini Drone and not a copycat. So if you're enjoying your drone, chances are you're going to want to spend some more time with it. Well, with a 20 minute battery, that's not very possible. So the chances of you buying an extra battery or a fast charger and the charging station are pretty high. So if you like to, you can purchase an additional battery for about 15 to 20 pounds or about 25 to 30 US dollars, um, roughly give or take. The fast charger and the charging station are also about the same price. So if you're looking to buy additional things for it, just know that you're going to be spending about that price range. Let's talk about the entertainment value now. As far as entertainment goes, this thing is incredible. It will provide you with hours of entertainment, minus the fact that you're going to have to be recharging or replacing the battery every 20 minutes. Aside from the short battery time, which I mentioned in the con section, it's incredibly fun. It jumps very high, it looks super cool, and it's just a very unique drone overall. There's nothing like it on the market currently, so you definitely have the uniqueness factor going for it. It looks like something that's straight out of a sci-fi movie, and it performs just as well. With live streaming, with some LED lights on it, and the jumping capabilities, this thing is an incredible product, and one of my favorite drones of all time. Let's talk about the quality of the drone. The Jumping Sumo has a very high quality rate, with the foam wheels being pretty well for being foam. And the jumping mechanism is a metal spring with an aluminum metal arm. The overall quality of it is pretty high, but granted, everything is lightweight so that it can jump high. With that being said, over time, the product may get some scratches, dents, and little scrapes into it, but that really should not be a problem as if it gets too bad, you can always buy replacement parts for it or fix it yourself. The quality is extremely high. It doesn't feel wobbly or like it's gonna come apart anytime soon. Everything is very tight, very pushed together and it looks very well. It fits perfectly. As I said, it is plastic and there are very lightweight components on it, meaning it doesn't have a very strong durability such as a metal product. With that being said, it's very good and it should last you quite some time unless you decide to abuse it. Let's talk about customization. This product has a fair amount of customizability as you can swap out the wheels and the chassis 
for different colors, different styles, and of course, you can always add your own artistic flair to it. The box comes with three different stickers that you can apply on the faceplate of the drone. This gives it a bit more of an artistic and customized flair, but does not take away from the actual look of the drone. It's very easy to customize, and like I said, you can swap out parts pretty simple by purchasing them through Amazon or through Parrot directly. It's a very good looking drone, and it's really nice to have that customizable feature. So let's take a few look at the cons of this product. Now these cons aren't bad, but they could use some improvement, and I'm sure there will be improvements in the future. The first notable con is that the battery life is only about 20 minutes long. Now this isn't terrible, but once you start playing with this thing, you're definitely going to want some more life out of it. The batteries last a maximum of 20 minutes. After that, they have to be charged again. The battery time, if you don't have a fast charger, will take approximately one hour to about two hours. If you have a fast charger available, such as for smartphones, it'll take you approximately 45 minutes for a complete charge. The next con is that over time, this product will eventually start falling apart. Specifically the wheels and the jumping mechanism. The wheels are made out of a very soft, slightly rubbery texture of foam. So overall, the wheels are just pure foam. So as with anything with foam, over time, of constantly hitting rocks, cracks, or other debris, there will be chips, tears, and little nicks into the wheels. This is something that you will have to replace in the future, but thankfully is not extremely expensive. The other con is the jumping mechanism itself. Again, over time of being used consistently, the mechanism will start to wear out, the spring will start to lose its strength, and the arm might eventually crack or something else will go wrong with it. Luckily, Parrot has a complete jumping mechanism repair kit, which can be purchased online through their website. Also, another con is the video recording feature. In order to record video, you actually have to insert a micro USB thumbnail drive. Now, this may seem simple, but it's really hard to find a thumbnail drive that is micro USB compatible. You might have a thumb drive that's USB compatible, but it has to be micro USB. If you don't have that little feature, you can't record video. But other than that, that's really the main cons. The only other thing I might want to add on to that is that the actual range of the product itself is not that great. Now the website claims that it's about 160 feet before the Wi-Fi signal starts getting interrupted. Through my own testing and consistent playtime with it, I have found that 160 feet is a little overestimated. I would say about 100 feet and the Wi-Fi signal starts to get interrupted. Now, if you're in an open area, you should have no problems playing with this device. But if you're in an area with a lot of buildings, a lot of walls, or a lot of interference between you and the device, you may expect to um, have some difficulties controlling your device. That's the end of the review. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you saw, comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys later. Till then, I'm out.